Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at the math of virus spreading. Sounds kind of weird, but it's very timely, and it also helps us to understand what exponential growth is. When we hear that phrase in the news or on social media or whatever, we can understand what does it mean when they say exponential growth. That's definitely a math phrase, so let's get into it. We are going to talk about exponential growth. And then we're going to talk about what we can do to have an exponential impact on the spreading of specifically the coronavirus, but in our case, a fictional virus that we've made up that um, spreads really, really, really fast. I want to show you a couple of graphs. This is a graph of a couple of points. I'm just going to plot out a couple of points here and draw something through that. That is a line. Now, you know what a line is. It's called a linear graph or linear growth. When something grows in a linear way, you know that for every two, in this case, for every two that it goes over, it goes up one. It has a consistent slope that we can use to predict and plan around. All right, that's linear growth. It typically is when you have a consistent growth over time, it would be graphed in a line like this. Any thing that has, again, a consistent growth. And that consistent growth is called slope. Oh no, another math term. Don't worry about it though. Because we're going to now go over to this graph where we actually make our growth a little bit different. We'll start at the point 1, 1. And that is 1 times 1 or 1 squared. And then we'll take 2 and we'll square that number. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. Notice what's happening with this graph. It is growing exponentially. So when we plot those points and we actually graph them, it would look something like this. Sorry, my I can never make that curve actually hit the line, hit the points exactly. But it curves and goes starts going up. If you look at this graph, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. So that graph is going to be really high up in the air by the time we get even two more numbers over. And by the time we get to the end of that graph, 12, our vertical point is 144. That is exponential growth. It's growing at a very fast rate and it's going up at a more and more steep incline exponential growth. When you hear that phrase, that's what it means. It means it's growing on a curve that is accelerating. This is how it happens as far as our current situation. So there's this guy in a green shirt and he decides that he's not going to do social distancing or whatever. He meets up with some friends and he just shakes hands with two people. Now, this fictional virus that I'm creating just spreads immediately to two people. Um, so let's just go with it for the sake of, of making a math video. So he spreads it to two people and then they each spread it to two people and then they each spread it to two people and apparently no one can keep their hands to themselves and they spread it to two more people each. At each level it's multiplying and this is how it it goes at an exponential rate. Now you might think oh but I'm multiplying so it's not exponential. But let me graph this out and show you what it looks like on a graph. So here are the steps. At step number one, it had one person. Step number two had two people. Step number three had four. And this is on a graph what it would look like. One is one, two is two, three is four. And, whoops. Oh my goodness, that was all out of whack. But you can see the pattern there. Four goes up to eight. Um, and then step five is going to go up to 16. Step six up to 32, right? It's doubling each step. That is not a linear growth. That is an exponential growth, right? It's doubling every single step. And when you graph it out, again, my blue line there isn't hitting all the points. But when you graph it out, you can see that it's that curve that then becomes steep, right? So now let's talk about what we can do or containing the coronavirus. What's going on right now? They've asked us to do this social distancing where you then decide, you know what, I'm not going to go out and shake hands with those two people. And if you do that, and let's say the virus 
is on you and spreads to other people, right? You've now prevented it from spreading to two other people. Let's say you're this guy and you say, you know what, I'm going to stay away. Maybe I have a cold or something. Then you can possibly prevent it from spreading to six other people. The challenge with this is that for all of us, we need to realize that we are this guy. Our impact, although it might start with just seeing two people or interacting with two people, can become exponential. So you need to remember that exponential growth multiplies. At every phase of the way, it multiplies. And that means your actions can help exponentially. Now that is empowering. So I invite all of you to go out and not go out. <laughs> Enjoy the time that you have with your family. Enjoy the time that you have sitting on your couch watching some shows. All right, try and learn something interesting. Look up some new talents or, or do an art project at home. Do something at home and try to limit the amount of interaction you have with other people because that impact can be exponential. I hope that you guys are safe and healthy. Have a wonderful day.